Boeing's new official art showing his FAXX contender is unsurprisingly similar to the F-47, which the company is building for the Air Force, but this is more than coincidence. It's a clear signal of Boeing's strategy to dominate the next era of U.S. air superiority. The rendering hints at a shared design philosophy between the Air Force's next-generation air dominance jet and the Navy's sixth-generation carrier-based fighter. At first glance, the resemblance is striking, but subtle differences suggest a deeper story, one that could reshape how the U.S. projects power in the Pacific. With Northrop Grumman competing head-to-head, -head, what we're seeing may only be a glimpse of what's unfolding behind classified doors. Boeing unveiled its new FAXX rendering last week at the Tailhook Symposium, and the image has been making waves across the defense community ever since. At first glance, the design feels eerily close to Boeing's F-47, the Air Force's next-generation stealth fighter. And that's not a coincidence. Based on Boeing's own hints over the past year, the company has been working on a modular design philosophy, one that allows a core airframe to serve both the Air Force and the Navy with minimal redesign, a rare cost-saving approach for sixth-generation programs that historically burn through billions in unique R&D. Now, the Navy's FAXX program is part of its Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative, a parallel effort to the Air Force's NGAD, but tailored for carrier-based operations. That means completely different design requirements, slower landing speeds, reinforced structures for carrier traps, extended low-speed maneuverability and survivability in maritime strike missions. But Bowen's new R suggests something big. The company believes its Air Force F-47 and Navy FAXX can share critical technologies, maybe even entire structural components, while optimizing performance for two radically different environments. When you zoom in on the rendering, a few interesting details stand out. Like the F-47, the FAXX is partially obscured in clouds, but Boeing deliberately reveals just enough to start speculation. The bubble canopy is almost identical to the F-47s, suggesting similar pilot interfaces and sensor layouts. The raid dome looks slightly shorter, possibly a perspective trick, but the real eyebrow razor is a wing root extension. Its sweep hints at the possible integration of canard foreplanes, small forward wings that were surprisingly featured in Boeing's F-47 renderings. And this is where things get fascinating because canards aren't typical for a stealth-first, sixth-generation fighter. These forward control surfaces can complicate radar signatures, especially for aircraft optimized for extreme low observability. Traditionally, canards are used on highly agile fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon or Dassault Rafale to maximize maneuverability in dogfights, not long-range stealth penetration missions. But for a carrier-based aircraft, canards might serve a completely different purpose, improving low-speed handling for precise carrier landings, something that's notoriously challenging for heavy, high-performance stealth jets. That being said, this could also be strategic misdirection. It wouldn't be the first time Boeing or the Pentagon has included misleading elements in public-facing concept art. There's a real possibility that the final FAXX design won't have canards at all, using thrust vectoring instead for maneuverability without compromising stealth. Right now, we're reading tea leaves, and Boeing knows exactly what it's doing by keeping certain design choices deliberately ambiguous. But here's where the differences between the F-47 and FAXX really start to diverge, engines and mission profiles. Aviation Week reports that the F-47 will almost certainly use an adaptive cycle power plant, a next-gen engine capable of switching between high thrust and high efficiency modes on demand, giving the Air Force unmatched range and performance. The FAXX, on the other hand, is expected to use a derivative power plant, likely optimized for durability and lower carrier maintenance requirements. That ties directly to one of the Navy's biggest design priorities, range. Originally, the FAXX was pitched as having dramatically greater range than existing carrier fighters, a necessity when operating deep in the Pacific theater against China's expanding A2AD anti-axis area denial network. But... More recent Navy statements suggest a more modest 25% range increase over today's tactical jets, meaning Boeing had to make compromises. Those compromises are likely tied to carrier weight limits, folding wing structures, and fuel capacity restrictions, which naturally limit how far a jet can go compared to land-based NGAD platforms like the F-47. Interestingly, the Air Forces seem to be scaling back too. The F-47 was originally marketed as a long-endurance cruiser-type aircraft, 
designed to dominate over thousands of miles in Pacific engagements. But Air Force officials recently clarified that its expected combat radius will be about 1,000 plus nautical miles. Impressive compared to today's fighters, but short of earlier expectations. That suggests that both branches are coming to the same conclusion. Survivability, sensor dominance, and network warfare are taking priority over sheer range. Now, Boeing isn't the only contender here. North of Grumman has also revealed a rendering for its FAXX submission, and the contrast is striking. Northup's design looks far more stealth optimized, featuring flowing organic curves, no visible canards, and an overall form that echoes its legendary YF-23 Black Widow II, a stealth fighter prototype that was once considered a major rival to Lockheed Martin's F-22. If Boeing is leaning on modularity and shared service efficiency, Northrop appears to be doubling down on stealth above all else. Still, Boeing has a major advantage, its production capacity. CEO Stephen Parker recently addressed concerns about building both the F-47 and FAXX simultaneously, stating that Boeing's long-term strategy was designed with his exact challenge in mind. To support this, Boeing has already invested heavily in a new Advanced Combat Aircraft Assembly facility in St. Louis, Missouri, designed specifically to handle next-generation stealth aircraft at scale. If Boeing can leverage share production lines for both jets, it could reduce costs and accelerate deployment something that Congress and the Pentagon are watching closely as budgets tighten. But here's the wild card. The Navy's FAXX program itself is in limbo. Earlier this year, the Pentagon froze funding for parts of the program while reviewing priorities for fiscal year 2026, citing concerns about resource competition with the Air Force's FA-47. Some lawmakers have pushed back, warning that delaying FAXX risks leaving carrier air wings behind in any potential high-end conflict especially against China's growing J-35 stealth fighters and DF-27 hypersonic missile threats. Navy leaders, including Admiral Darrell Cottle, have been vocal that carrier-based sixth-generation capability isn't optional. It's critical for maintaining forward power projection across the Indo-Pacific. If delays continue, there's growing speculation that the Navy might pivot to a navalized F-47 variant, leveraging the Air Force's proven design with minimal modifications. This would reduce risk and save billions in development costs, but at the cost of independence and optimization for maritime missions. It's a classic Pentagon dilemma, innovation versus affordability. And right now, both services are trying to balance those competing priorities. What's clear is that Boeing is playing a high stakes game. If it wins both NGAD contracts, Air Force and Navy, it cements itself as the dominant player in sixth generation tactical aviation reshaping the U.S. defense industrial base for decades. If it loses the Navy contract to Northrop, we could see a split ecosystem emerge, forcing two entirely different design and production pipelines. For now, the FAXX remains one of the most critical and uncertain programs shaping the future of U.S. air power. Boeing's new rendering doesn't give us all the answers, but it signals one thing loud and clear. The fight for America's next generation naval fighter is very much underway. The FAXX decision could redefine naval aviation for the next half century. Will Boeing's modular shared design approach win out, or will Northup Stealth First Campbell dominate? Let me know your thoughts because whichever way this goes, the next generation carrier air wing will decide who controls the skies over the Pacific.